What are you doing? Making my waterproof gloves since I've never found a pair that fits me. This works. It works. I'm telling you. Looks like you're ready to perform fish surgery. Yes. No, it really works. I put like cheapo, like those cotton gloves underneath and then a layer of these and I still have like full dexterity in my fingers. Any kind of waterproof oh, these are, glove. These are new. Yes, yeah. They're not one of those cheaper ones. No, these are, so they, the other ones, I think like the the fabric was just too, I don't know, I had too much space in between it so I kept getting my hooks stuck in it. I don't know how to do any of this. Head goes through there. Yep, and then shoulder. Like that? Yeah. Look at you. Oh my gosh, I feel so tactical. <laughs> tactical? Tactical. Tactical. <laughs> Alright, so we're at, we're here at the beach. We got Erica strapped up with the GoPro 2. For the first time. Yeah, look at her. Oh man. Now we're gonna get Erica point of view when we go fishing. Nice. Watch, now I'm not gonna catch anything. Eh, more fish for me. We got a cold, cold day. It's about 30 something degrees. So we're walking down the beach right now and um, we're looking for a hole. It's the bottom half of outgoing tide. And um, yeah, we're gonna fish through sunset and hopefully find some good fish for the daytime and we'll see what happens. And there's like a lot of foam stuff all over the beach so it's kind of gross and weird, but I don't know, <laughs> yeah. fish I've caught in a long time. That's your first GoPro fish. It is. First one of the day too. Yeah. Very nice. All right, you want to do a smooch release? I'll get you a picture. Oh. So there we have it. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ah. Well, I just didn't get my real wet. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up for Erica's first GoPro fish. I told you you catch fish. Oh, I won't catch fish with a GoPro on. Cool. beating me so far. I know, it's, I prayed for it <laughs> to my GoPro. I was like, let me catch a fish before Polly does. A couple minutes later, boom. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing now? I think we should move down um, west a little bit and try and find a good hole. I don't think there's a hole there. I think we just happened to find like some little schoolies that were passing by. But yeah, the sun's gonna go down soon. We got about a half hour of sunlight according to Surfcaster Barbie on Instagram. But we're gonna try to move, find somewhere else that I could hook up, preferably, 
and not get skunked today, should be fun. Yes, sir. We got a fish. Woo, doggy. Yeah. Way out there. We're ripping lips. We're slaying bass. We've got our fish. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In surf, in surf, in surf, in surf. Uh, it's gonna go eat Surfcaster Barbie. Ah, big dip. Feels like a nice fish, to be honest. Not like a massive monster fish, but feels like a, a higher sized schoolie. A little sunset bite on a diamond jig first cast. And it's a little schooly. Yes. No. 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 I am. Let me see. I was just throwing the same color uh, diamond jig, and yeah, I was. First in... cast. <laughs> That's why he f he felt so good. Like <laughs> I thought it was a, a bigger fish than this, but look how thick it is. Look at the girth on him. <laughs> but uh, red diamond jig 827. That's exactly what I just had on too. <laughs> Way out. Noise. There we go. Beautiful fish. We got a trough right here in between the break. We gotta try to get past that until he gets out. But beautiful striper. It's soft here. I don't want to go any farther. Yeah, you can stay there. Do them in if you want. How do I do that? Alright, let's go try to get another. Go <laughs> next cast. Another striper. Same spot, way out there. I think what's happening is they're just sitting past that break right here, in between, like maybe in a trough, in between the other break that happens right out there, and they're just hitting the diamond jig. Whew. That's cool. We may have found our hole we were looking for. Get him in past the surf. Bend. Wait, you eat the this is a good fish. Oh, this is a nice fish. <laughs> That's a bigger fish. Two of my corkers. He's two corkers. So when we get home, let's measure that. That's 
nice fish. Yeah, I'd say so. Look how thick he is. These are good fish today. Not monsters. But they're healthy and that's the cool part. Big. He just had me in a soft pocket of sand. Look at him. I Whoa. thought you were going down. I thought I was going to go down a couple times too. <laughs> Look at him. He's a thick boy. tried to bite his top of his fin. almost in a row. Let's go get some more. insane it's so beautiful we haven't had a sunset like this in a while this is one of the most beautiful sunset spots sunrise spots that I know of look at it look at that look at that that's insane So there's waves breaking out here on that sandbar, nothing here, and then more waves breaking out there on the sandbar. That's called 
a cut. What we're in front of is a cut. It's basically exactly that, a cut through the sandbar, which makes a little bit of current, so fish go in and out, and so do the bait fish. So that's where we were fishing when we hooked up to those three fish, my two and hers. And then we're gonna be walking down a little bit further, find another deep spot in front of the sandbar and uh, hopefully hook up on a night bite. We didn't bring any lights whatsoever. I forgot it gets dark at 12 p.m. Uh, 12, 12 p.m., yeah. So sick of this. Advanced darkness. Advanced darkness. All right, let's go slay. You have a good day? Yeah, I had an awesome day. A good couple hours, hours of fishing? Yeah, yeah, I feel like we came out here, got a couple fish, and now we're going to eat. I don't know, it's just quick and awesome. It was good timing. Yeah, quick and easy, good timing. Pick the right spot, right baits, and we got a couple fish. Yes, sir. My first GoPro fish. First GoPro fish. Yeah, guys, give this video a thumbs up for her first GoPro fish. She is. She got a good one on the second one, at least. Yeah. First one was a little little boy, but the second okay. one was pretty nice. All fish are good fish. My second one was also very nice. We got to go home and measure that. We got to figure out how big two corkers of mine are, and then we know how big that fish was, because he was a thick boy. Good fish. So that fish I got on the beach was two corkers long. Let's see how long that is. What is your guess? I'm going 26 and a half inches. Probably. What is that? Nice, <laughs> it's pretty close. Okay. 27. Pretty accurate. Yeah. I'd say it was accurate. I was close. Almost a keeper, but not quite. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Erica's behind the camera. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. We're trying to hit 15,000 uh, subscribers by the end of 2020. It would be really cool if you guys can help us out and uh, by liking it and commenting below and sharing with your friends and family and Facebook groups or whatnot, you can really get our channel up to that 15,000 goal. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, you learned something from this video, you enjoyed Erica's first GoPro fish. It's kind of crispy out here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this pretty quick. But we got Smooch and Release beanies too. So with the cold weather coming, if you guys want some, they're on smoochandrelease.com slash shop, also linked below in the description of this video. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Stay real, smooch and release, and have some fun on the water. I'll see you next time.